Hi, I'm Erica Courier, a commercial fisherman from Alaska. Cooking without having to thaw first lets you create healthy, delicious meals in minutes. Today I'm going to show you how to bake and boil frozen Alaska seafood. First, rinse your halibut and salmon fillets under cold water to remove the protective ice glaze. Frozen fish tastes like it was just caught. Because it was flash frozen within hours of being harvested, high quality frozen Alaska seafood is available year round. Preheat your broiler to 450 degrees. You want to coat your baking sheet with a non-stick cooking spray and then place the halibut fillets on the cooking sheet. I've moved the broiler rack five to seven inches from the heating element because this is frozen fish. It dries out quickly if it's close to that heat. I'm going to let it cook for about four minutes and then season it. It's been about four minutes and the meat will accept the seasoning now. This is a really simple recipe called Fast and Spicy Halibut. It's on our website. Just brush a little butter on and then sprinkle with a mixture of dry seasonings and let it cook for a few more minutes. If you think about it, although it takes longer to cook, you save a substantial amount of time by not thawing. And if you watch the color, you're gonna come out with moist and juicy fish. I always check my fish about three quarters of the way into cooking time, just so you can get a good idea on where it is. Spices are a little dark on the filet. Anytime you use butter, dry spices, and you're broiling fish, it's gonna happen, but it's just fine. Okay, let's take a look. It's still a little bit translucent. Give it a few more minutes. Cooking frozen fish is so unbelievably easy. You just put it in the oven and minutes later you have a great meal. Let's take another look. You can see how it's changed from translucent to opaque. It's done, I'm gonna pull it out of the heat. Remember, it'll keep cooking away from the heat source. I'm gonna spray the baking sheet again. It's just a step that makes your life easier in the future. This recipe is sesame ginger salmon and the recipe is on our website. Start by layering onions and cilantro, then put two lemons on each stack and spoon a mixture of ginger and sesame oil on each stack as well. Then put your frozen salmon fillets in the baking sheet and it too is ready for the oven. The broiler has been preheated to 450 so we're going to put the salmon in. You want to place the salmon four to five inches from the heating element. It's going to take about eight minutes for it to brown, a little less if the salmon was fresh, not frozen. It's been about eight minutes, so I'm going to add the seasoning and turn the oven down to bake, 375. This is a sesame and ginger that we use to spoon on top of the lemons before we put the salmon fillets on them. I mixed it with soy sauce and sake. When you're cooking frozen, you want to let the meat cook a little bit so it accepts the flavors of any seasoning you want to add. So it'll bake for another eight minutes, depending on the thickness of the fish. Time to check the fish. We're looking for a color change from translucent to just opaque. Just about, we're there, so it's done. It took about another eight minutes. You can't go wrong with frozen Alaska seafood, and cooking it from frozen is so convenient. You end up with a great tasting, healthy meal in just minutes. Just remember to start with a hot oven, season it about halfway through, and watch the color so you don't overcook it.